Hey, hey, what's happening, everyone? Hope you guys are doing well on this Tuesday morning. Gonna give a couple of seconds for some people to jump on. See who's with us this morning. So I'll just give a moment for that. And um, if you are hopping on to this Facebook Live this morning, let us know where you are from. Hit us with a few likes so that we can get this going. Lisa, welcome. Cindy, welcome. Nice to see you guys on. Hope you guys are doing well. How's it, Anne from Secunda? What's happening? Nice to have you on this morning. Awesome, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. If you just tuned in, let us know where you're tuning in from and um, what's cooking. So, uh, Pastor Gerard from Standerton, the legend. How are you doing, Pastor? Um, so, I'm at home and uh, at my office, if I can call it that. Um, very, very privileged to work from home. Absolutely love it. Um, as you can see, I'm not getting a lot of sun these days. Got to get out and um, obviously get that sorted. But uh, yeah, you guys can check out behind me. Maybe I can show you a bit of this uh, before we get going. Uh, just a bit of our dream boards, which is really something that keeps us going um, and something that we can have a look at and see visually every single day. Um, did I make these? No, I did not. Obviously, Charmaine did it. <laughs> so, these are some places that we really want to go see. Some of them we've seen already. Uh, we really love traveling. And, um, you know, this really keeps us motivated. This one as well. There you guys can see my most favorite place in the whole world. In Disney World. Such a cool place. Absolutely love it. So, these are some of the um, places that we still want to go and have a look at. Yes, just a little bit of inspiration. Um... Keep us motivated. There's some more up there and some more up there. So, good work from Charmaine. Um, I'm going to get you guys back on, yeah? So, what I want to chat about today is the value. What is Willem saying? Don't see a pick of you playing for the Bulls. I don't think you'll see that soon either. <laughs> but thanks, Willem. Don, welcome from Australia. Nice to have you on, brother. Um... Yeah, Don's doing so well. He was with me at primary school in Standerton. And can you believe it? He's all the way over in Australia now. He's got an awesome, awesome, awesome clothing brand called Stax. Um, really, really awesome stuff. So, Don, nice to have you on, bro. Uh, some fellow entrepreneurs. So, I want to chat a bit today on the value of patience and hard work. And the reason why I thought of this was um, just yesterday, Shermaine and I were reviewing some of our goals and, you know, where we want to be in the next five years, um, where we want to take this business and... Um, had a good look at ourselves and I also took out my notebook from a few years ago and interestingly enough I found some goals and some things that you know I hope that I would have achieved by now that we haven't and you know automatically there's things that start going through your mind like are you good enough and you started doubting your ability because obviously you know you thought you would have been there already by now and maybe you're not so um, and then I started thinking about the value of being patient you know, and the value of actually engaging in consistent action day in and day out and really having the confidence and the faith that over time, if you are engaging that consistent action, you will re reap the rewards. You know, having that knowingness that if you keep on sowing the good seed day in and day out, eventually you're going to reach the level of success that you're looking for. And I think sometimes for people my age, I experience it very, very often. I don't know there's so many other people in our business um, and friends of ours who grew up in this world where, you know, instant gratification is huge. It's massive. People want something now. They want it fast. Always looking for a quick fix when it comes to business. Always looking for, you know, a way to make money fast. And, um, you know, that's just the world that we grew up in. And sometimes that can create that sense of impatience, which is, which is really not a good thing. You know, and sometimes we lack that ability to just stick to the grind, to stick it out, and um, to be patient in our endeavors. You know, and I just thought about the fact that I'm a very firm believer that nothing of value, nothing that's valuable is going to come easy. Nothing that's valuable is going to come fast or quick. 
You know, there doesn't exist something like that. If, 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 if something is of value, it's precious. It takes hard work. It takes that extra step. It takes that extra bit of effort. Um, and I just reassured myself of that, you know, and, and, and really just sort of like gave myself a pat on the back and told myself, hey, don't worry, it's okay. Like, be patient, stick to it, and remember that at the end of the day, you know, for us, for Charmaine and myself as well, you know, of course, you do work for money. That is 100% true because, I mean, it's like oxygen. You can't go without it. But more so, we're really looking at working for happiness, you know, and, and, and I guess it all comes down to what you value at the end of the day. But we work a lot more for happiness than what we do for money because, I mean, if you're happy, money is not going to make you happy it can give you a form of happiness but it's, it's it's not long term you know so i just sort of like kicked myself on the butt got myself back up there and um started reminding myself of the value of being patient and keep on engaging consistent action whether you've hit your goals now or not whether you are where you want to be or not you know keep on working keep on going keep on grinding be patient because nothing valuable comes easy Everything that's valuable, anything that's precious takes hard work, it takes consistency, you're going to go through good times, you're going to go through bad times. And I think one very important thing for us is to try, like that's what we try and do every single day, is to try and become better and to develop ourselves um, into the people that we want to become. And, and, and if you go out with that mindset of, you know what, it's not what you achieve, it's who you become in the process of achieving that is far more valuable than anything else because the person that you become in the process of achieving, I mean, you're going to take yourself with you wherever you go, whether you're winning or losing, whether you've built something and you might lose that something or you might go through a recession or you might, you know, something might happen. You can always gain back what you've lost because of who you are and because of who you've become in the process, you know, and that's why there is no quick fix. Even if you have done something really fast and everything's happened for you and something might have fallen into your lap, or whatever the case may be, I just believe that it's not sustainable. The only thing that's sustainable is who you are, who you've become, your character, and, and the skills that you've developed, and the process that you've gone through to achieve success, which is the most important thing above and beyond anything else. So I'm going to leave you guys with that, and uh, maybe that's something to think about, is that you know becoming valuable and enjoying the process is way more important than the result at the end of the day. The result's going to take care of itself. The result is going to manifest who you are and who you have become. And who you are and who you have become is what you carry with you wherever you go in life. And, you know, that's something that we try and strive towards every single day. So I hope this could inspire somebody this morning. And um, I'm going to leave you guys with that. For those of you guys who have joined, thanks so much for hopping on. Really appreciate it. And I'd love your guys' opinion. At the end of the day, I'm a 27-year-old guy sitting in my home with all these fancy dream boards behind me. It's just my opinion that I'm sharing with you guys. And um, I definitely don't know it all. We've got so, so, so far to go. So much more to achieve. And, um, you know, so share your opinion. Share your thoughts on this. I'd love to hear that. And we can bounce things off each other and just keep learning and growing. So... Hope to see you guys soon. Have a great day. Have a great Tuesday. Have a great week. Let's go out there and crush it, guys. And I'll see you guys soon on Facebook. So cheers. Have a good one.